Hi, in this video, we're gonna learn 12 super useful phrasal verbs with the help of the awesome TV show Friends. Before we start, keep in mind that most of the phrasal verbs have multiple meanings, and their meaning can vary depending on the context. Don't worry though, because in this video and upcoming ones, we will explore how each phrasal verb is used in different contexts through the sample scenes from Friends. By the end of the video, you will not only learn the most useful meanings of each phrasal verb, but you'll also be proficient in using them. So without further ado, let's get started. Go out, go out with somebody. To have a romantic relationship with someone. There's nothing to tell. It's just some guy I work with. Come on. You're going out with the guy. There's got to be something wrong with him. <laughs> go out. Go out with somebody. To have a romantic relationship with someone. For example, Monica and Paul have been going out for two years now. Nicole used to go out with my brother. I once went out with a Frenchman. How long have you been going out together? There's nothing to tell. It's just some guy I work with. Come on. You're going out with the guy. There's got to be something wrong with him. <laughs> go out. Another very useful meaning of go out is to leave your home in order to do something enjoyable. For example, to go to a party, a bar, or the cinema. Okay, everybody relax. This is not even a date. It's just two people going out to dinner and not having sex. Sounds like a date to me. <laughs> go out to leave your home in order to do something enjoyable. For example, to go to a party, a bar, or the cinema. Are you going out tonight? I go out to a movie with my friends every Saturday. Tom goes out drinking every Friday. Let's go out for lunch. Okay, everybody relax. This is not even a date. It's just two people going out to dinner and not having sex. Sounds like a date to me. <laughs> go through. Go through something. If you go through an experience or a period of time, especially an unpleasant or difficult one, you experience it. Wait, does he eat chalk? <laughs> I don't want her to go through what I went through with Carl. Um. Go through. Go through something. If you go through an experience or a period of time, especially an unpleasant or difficult one, you experience it. For example, Sarah is going through a divorce at the moment. When you're going through depression, it certainly helps to talk to a psychiatrist. It is devastating for a parent to watch a child go through misery. You learn as you go through life. Wait, does he eat chalk? <laughs> Just because I don't want her to go through what I went through with Carl. Um. Turn out. To happen in a particular way or to have a particular result, especially one that you did not expect. All of a sudden, the phone starts to ring. <laughs> and it turns out it's my mother. <laughs> Which is very, very weird because she never calls me. <laughs> Turn out. To happen in a particular way or to have a particular result, especially one that you did not expect. I knew that everything would turn out fine in the end. How did things turn out? To my surprise, it turned out that I was wrong. She tried to make pancakes and they turned out a mess. All of a sudden, the phone starts to ring. <laughs> and it turns out it's my mother. <laughs> Which is very, very weird because she never calls me. <laughs> Move out to leave the house where you're living now in order to go and live somewhere else. 
I just feel like someone reached down my throat, grabbed my small intestine, pulled it out of my mouth, and tied it around my neck. Cookie? <laughs> Carol moved her stuff out today. Uh, Let me get you some coffee. Thanks. Move out to leave the house where you are living now in order to go and live somewhere else. For example, she moved out and a year later they were divorced. They moved out of London when he was little. We are going to move out of our old house next month. I just feel like someone reached down my throat, grabbed my small intestine, pulled it out of my mouth, and tied it around my neck. Cookie? <laughs> Carol moved her stuff out today. Uh, Let me get you some coffee. Thanks. Freak out. Freak somebody out. To become very anxious, upset, or afraid. Or make someone very anxious, upset, or afraid. I realized... More turned on by this gravy boat than by Barry. And then I got really freaked out, and that's when it hit me how much Barry looks like Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> Freak out. Freak somebody out. To become very anxious, upset, or afraid. Or make someone very anxious, upset, or afraid. I freak out every time I see a bug. People just freaked out when they heard the news. This song just freaks me out whenever I hear it. I realized... <laughs> I realized that I was more turned on by this gravy boat than by Barry. And then I got really freaked out. And that's when it hit me. How much Barry looks like Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> drift apart. If people drift apart, their relationship gradually ends. So anyway, I just didn't know where to go, and I know that you and I have kind of drifted apart, but you're the only person I knew who lived here in the city. Who wasn't invited to the wedding. Oh, I was kind of hoping that wouldn't be an issue. <laughs> drift apart. If people drift apart, their relationship gradually ends. For example, as children, we were very close, but as we grew up, we just drifted apart. Over the years, Rosie and I have drifted apart. She and her husband drifted apart and eventually they divorced. So anyway, I just didn't know where to go and I know that you and I have kind of drifted apart, but you're the only person I knew who lived here in the city. Who wasn't invited to the wedding. Oh, I was kind of hoping that wouldn't be an issue. <laughs> he on somebody. To talk to someone in a way that shows you're sexually attracted to them. And hey, you need anything, you can always come to Joey. <laughs> Me and Chandler live right across the hall, and he's away a lot. <laughs> Joey, stop hitting on her. It's her wedding day. What? Like there's a rule or something? <laughs> he on somebody. To talk to someone in a way that shows you're sexually attracted to them. Some guy hit on me while I was standing at the bar. Joey has hit on most of the women in the department. Are you hitting on my stepsister? And hey, you need anything, you can always come to Joey. <laughs> me and Chandler live right across the hall, and he's away a lot. <laughs> Joey, stop hitting on her, it's her wedding day. What, like there's a rule or something? <laughs> Ask somebody out. To invite someone to come with you to a place such as the cinema or a restaurant, especially as a way of starting a romantic relationship. Wait a minute, you're not a real date tonight is with Paul the wine guy? He finally asked you out? Yes! Oh, this is a dear diary moment. <laughs> Ask somebody out. To invite someone to come with you to a place such as the cinema or a restaurant, especially as a way of starting a romantic relationship. She likes you, why don't you ask her out? He is too shy to ask her out. He has asked Nicole out to the cinema this evening. Wait a minute, you're not a real date tonight is with Paul the wine guy? He finally asked you out? Yes! <laughs> 
Ooh, this is a dear diary moment. <laughs> you know, here's the thing. Even if I could get it together on, on up to, you know, to, to ask a woman out, who am I going to ask? <laughs> but do you think it would be okay if I asked you out sometime, maybe? Yeah. Maybe. Hang out. To spend a lot of time in a particular place or with a particular people. Well, actually, thanks, but I think I'm just going to hang out here tonight. It's been a long day. Oh, sure, okay, sure. Hang out. To spend a lot of time in a particular place or with a particular people. For example, I don't really know who she hangs out with. The local kids usually hang out at the mall. Where do you hang out these days? Do you want to hang out tonight? Well, actually, thanks, but I think I'm just going to hang out here tonight. It's been a long day. Oh, sure, okay, sure. Walk out on somebody. To suddenly leave somebody that you are having a relationship with or that you have a responsibility for. Yeah, ever since she walked out on me, I... What? What, what? You want to spell it out with noodles? <laughs> Walk out on somebody. To suddenly leave somebody that you are having a relationship with or that you have a responsibility for. For example, how could she walk out on her kids? Her lover walked out on her after she had aborted their child. Yeah, ever since she walked out on me, I... What? What, what? You want to spell it out with noodles? <laughs> Leave off somebody something. To get your income or food from a supply of money or from another person. Come on, you can't live off your parents your whole life. I know that. That's why I was getting married. <laughs> Leave off somebody something. To get your income or food from a supply of money or from another person. For example, Dad lost his job and we had to live off welfare. He only agreed to marry her so he could live off her. He does not do any honest work and live off others. You can't live off your dad for the rest of your life. Come on, you can't live off your parents your whole life. I know that. That's why I was getting married. <laughs> End up. To be in a particular situation, a state or place after a series of events especially when you did not plan it. I remember when I first came to this city, I was 14. My mom had just killed herself and my stepdad was back in prison. And I got here and I didn't know anybody. And I ended up living with this albino guy who was like cleaning windshields outside Port Authority. And then he killed himself. End up. To be in a particular situation, a state or place, after a series of events, especially when you did not plan it. For example, if he continues shoplifting, he'll end up in jail. He could end up as president. I don't want to end up like my parents. I ended up doing all the work myself. I remember when I first came to this city, I was 14. My mom had just killed herself and my stepdad was back in prison. And I got here and I didn't know anybody. And I ended up living with this albino guy who was like cleaning windshields outside Port Authority. And then he killed himself. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching it, please hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends. Your support means a lot to me and helps me create more content like this. See you in the next one. Have a good time.